Hello and welcome friends, my name is Francie bringing you KSP Mod Overview. Yeah, we're back in something I've wanted to do for a while because honestly there's so many good KSP mods these days and they just seem to keep coming that it's time to start showcasing them a little bit more and these are kind of quick easy videos I can get out to you guys so you can have some content as well and just kind of a fun thing for me to do. Uh, so you can see, and I've uh, created an Atlas V here with four strap-on solid rocket boosters, and the reason I've done that is to, to give you some semblance of realism, because this mod is CST-100, that's the Crew Space Transportation uh, 100, and uh, a very fancy name, so <laughs> very, very, very straightforward, very nice, and uh, that is the, the Starliner. And so this is a way in which, in the, the coming years, the commercial crew program with NASA will be sending astronauts to the moon. And so I thought, why not uh, check this out? So it's kind of a small parts pack, and we could see what it was all about here. And so I launched pre-dawn, and uh, we can watch those, oh, gosh, those boosters falling away are just it's so glorious. It's so incredibly glorious. And we're, we're headed off to, to meet up with a uh, space station. Not, not quite the International Space Station, but nonetheless a space station worth going to, I would say. And so we'll go ahead and ditch that core stage and say goodbye as it majestically catapults itself back down into a fiery death. But that's okay. And we're going to go ahead and sink ourselves up here, get into your rendezvous with this uh, just fun little space station I put up there. And just, just something to have up there is always nice, rather than just to kind of put this thing in orbit and then send it back down. Let's go meet up with a, an actual station, a space station. And so, just kind of doing that. And this, this mod is pretty cool. It's very, uh, it's, it's not very intensive. So if you're worried about RAM or things like that, it doesn't necessarily, I think, require too much because it, it just has some, you know, basic parts. You can see the, um, that. Bottom part is what I, that's kind of like the centaur upper stage, if you want to call it that. Um, that is not part of the mods, that's just something I use, procedural parts, um, and a KSP engine to create. So, we'll see in a second here when I separate from this, um, what it's all about. It, it, it's just basically the capsule, so you can have another capsule, I believe it holds four Kerbals um, in total, and so... It's just kind of a fun thing if you're interested in kind of having a realistic style uh, space, you know, system uh, to get your Kerbals up into orbit. You know, I wouldn't say it's something you're going to use necessarily. And there you can see the kind of full-fledged uh, system with its four engines there. Um, it's not really something you'd want to use necessarily for... I think any kind of heavy lifting, like going to the moon, um, that's probably not what you're going to use this for. Uh, you can use a capsule, but I don't think this kind of kind of entire layouts with the kind of command service module, and, and I don't think that's... I think it's more of just a crew transportation system. So if you have a space station and you'd like to cycle your Kerbals or maybe bring up some supplies now and then even, perhaps... Um, this would be a good good mod for that. Uh, the, the RCS is very very nice. It, it works very well. Uh, it's placed well. As you can see, it's kind of all in line for the most part. And we're just going to go ahead and dock ourselves here if we don't run into any solar panels. Okay, looks pretty good. Just kind of giving a quick burst of RCS here to make sure we get this. And it is perfect. No even wiggling and jiggling and uh, strange magnetism involved there. So that's that's perfect. Uh, so yeah, so this is the CST100 mod. Very cool. You should definitely give it a try. We see the moon in the background as well as, uh, with Kerbin below. And so, yeah, it's, it's definitely worth a good shot. And it's kind of fun just to kind of play out our, our space fantasies, if you will. Getting those real-life parts into the game. Um, and so this is kind of a way you can do that as well. And, and it, it will be going up, probably not before long. Uh, I think the plan is to next year have a, port, a, a pad abort test in early early 2017. And then they're going to go ahead and do an uncrewed test mission to the International Space Station in uh, April 2017. And then I think after that, they may even uh, try to send up some crew in it which is what it's all about and you can see us ditching the uh, kind of service module there and we'll give this heat shield a run for its money as i've come in in a very steep angle here just landing off the coast of ksc 
uh, you know, making our recovery efforts a little bit easier, let's just say. And so I think this is all going to work out pretty well. And, and a mod you should definitely go ahead and check out. And so I'm going to try to put out some more mod overview videos in the, the meantime. I'm, I'm kind of waiting just till 1.1 comes out to do anything more significant. Um, it is the end of the school year, and I, I do teach, and so I think I'll be able to put out more content. But I really want to wait for 1.1, which is coming in the near time, before I do anything significant. Just because that's going to be huge. You're running KSP 64-bit with tons of mods. You can put all these mods in one build and then go to town with them. And hopefully not explode your game because, you know, that's what happens. But successful parachute deploy and then heat shield dropping into the ocean. Uh, littering there a little bit. But thanks again and feel free to subscribe and like. And if you have any comments or mods you'd like to see, please go ahead and just let me know. I'd, I'd be happy to check some out. And I will happily see you next time. Have fun.